And welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new and today I'm going to be showing you guys some travel hacks slash packing hacks because I'm going to Japan super super soon and that's what inspired me to make this video and I know now that it's a summer vacation for most of you guys um, you, um, a lot of you guys are probably going to go traveling so th hopefully this video is going to help you and my next video is going to be my Japan vlog. See what I did there? I'm now pertaining to vlog. And so if you are interested in vlogs or if you're interested in Japan, please do subscribe if you are new. And I'm going to be trying to post as much as I can. And it's going to be super exciting. So yeah. And now without further ado, let's get on to the travel life hacks. But I'm weak. Okay, so the first one here is how to save space in your luggage when you're packing your clothes. Okay, so for this life hack, you can just take like a shirt and all you have to do is fold in the sides to make it like one skinny piece of fabric and then start folding it up. And this is going to help you save a lot of space and it's going to be a lot more compact in your luggage and rather than just leaving it, just putting it in randomly. And this is just going to help you in so many ways if you over tend to overpack or have lots of clothes. And you can do this with pants, with shirts, tank tops, shorts, any type of clothes. And then you just have to put it into your luggage and yeah, it's just going to help you save lots of space. So this next one will help you find your luggage so much easier when it's coming down the belt after you get off your flight. And it makes it a lot more bright and easy to find. Okay, so to help you find your luggage faster, you can make a pom-pom, and there's lots of different types of ways to make a pom-pom, but this is my favorite way, and I've been doing it ever since I was little, and it's super easy, and yeah, so all you're going to need is yarn and your hands and some scissors. Okay, so the thicker your yarn is, it's going to be a lot easier, and also the thicker your yarn is, it's going to be fluffier. So I'm using this mega bulky yarn and I just got it from Walmart. You can buy yarn from like a lot of different places and all you have to do is start off by taking your yarn and get three of your fingers and just start wrapping the yarn around your fingers. And you can just do this as many times as you want. The more times you do it, the bigger your oops, <laughs> pom pom is going to be. So I'll be back after I'm done. So I wrap mine around 15 times and then just because it's really thick so it doesn't exactly need that much and then I'm just going to take that end of the yarn and just tuck it inside of the other ones just like so so then nothing's just falling off. Then you're just going to need to cut off another piece of string like this and then just take that yarn off your fingers and take the yarn and put it, put the string in between the very middle of your yarn ball just like so and then tie it very tight in the middle just through here sorry if you hear any background noises by the way I, my windows open and you're just gonna tie it very tightly um, and if you don't tie it tight enough everything's just gonna start falling apart and you don't want that so after you get one side just flip it over and tie the other side as well so I'll be right back so then it should look something like this and then just take a pair of scissors and start cutting in between the little loops that you just made. And you just want to do it all the way around your pom-pom. So now this is what it looks like and you have the two pieces you use to tie the knot with and it's super cute and you can leave it just like this but I'm just going to trim around it to make it a little bit more circular. So ta-da! Now this is what your pom-pom looks like. Now you just have to attach it to your suitcase and then you're done. This one will make sure none of your products will spill inside your luggage because that would really suck. Okay, so for this one, take a piece of saran wrap. Oh, there's Timmy. And put it over your product. And put the cap right on top of it. And then it's going to be a lot safer. And then after this, just put it on t into a Ziploc bag and then it won't spill all over your suitcase. Boy, oh boy, I love it when I fall through this one is the importance of hoodies slash sweaters slash jackets. <laughs> okay, so this is really simple, but you know, it's really important. So 
I thought I would include this in my video. So why you should wear a jacket, bring a jacket on board with you is obviously so you can use it as a jacket and you can use it as a blanket and also you can use it as a pillow. So yeah, that's why you should definitely bring like a jacket, sweater or something like that onto the airplane with you. So my last hack for you guys is to always have chewing gum with you on your carry-on because when you go up on it on the plane and when you also go down, it's going to make your ears pop so you want to chew a piece of gum and then it's going to keep your jaw moving and help make sure your ears don't pop. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget to hit the thumbs up and subscribe. And comment down below where you're going this summer or what you're doing this summer because I'd love to know. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Safe travels. Bye.